Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 3 from the Jan 2017 POA Paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the rest of this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and the link in the description below that will carry you to that playlist. So be sure to check it out. And with that said, let's get into the solution. So the first thing we do is we take a read of the question. So it says, Stress Ease Enterprises provides a service called Client Rescue to its clients by collecting them from locations where their vehicles are stalled and delivering them to their destinations. So this is a service organization, not a trading organization. So there's not going to be any stock and that kind of stuff. So the firm owns two vehicles worth 210,000 in total. All right, let's go from there. The following information is provided for Stress Ease for the year ended 31st March 2016. All right, so 4,300 clients pay a retainer fee of 100 per year. So you have 4,300 clients and the retainer fee is like the membership fee to keep Stress Ease Enterprises on call so that when these clients call, Stress Ease will come, but you have to pay that fee per year. All right. And there is a charge of $35 per kilometer for client rescue. So if they have to come and collect you and it takes them one kilometer to get from where they are to where you are, it costs you $35. If you are, if you are 100 kilometers away, it, co it costs you $3,500. All right. Um, but of course, it's for the whole trip. Right. So not just to pick you up. They have to drop you somewhere too. So... Um, when it's a quarter, one quarter, two quarter, three quarter, four, they're talking about the quarters of the year. The first quarter is Jan, Feb, March. Second quarter is April, May, June. Third quarter is July, August, September. And the fourth quarter is October, November, December. So these are the kilometers that they travel in each quarter. So we're probably going to have to work out the total number of kilometers and then, of course, the total amount of rescue fees. All right. Okay. Um, stress ease enterprises incurred the following costs during the same year. So we have driver salaries, 160,600. Then we have fuel, 198,500. Vehicle usage costs, 27,430. And depreciation on vehicles, 30% straight line method. And we are required to present stress ease enterprises income statement for the year ended 31st March 2016. So let's get cracking on that, shall we? So of course, as we do, head up your statement. Stress ease enterprises income statement for the year ended 31st March 2016. Dollar signs. Now we need revenue first. All right. Now again, this is not a regular sales minus cost a good soul thing. This is not a trading entity. They have no stock. They are providing a service. We have two sets of revenue. We have the retainer fee. 4,300 clients pay 100 a year. So you're going to multiply those two together to get $430,000. Next is a chart of 35 kilometers, $35 per kilometer, sorry, for client rescue. So you're going to add up all of these kilometers and multiply that by 35. That's going to give us, as you can see, about 336,910. We add it together to get total revenue. And now we simply subtract our expenses. We have four expenses, driver salaries, fuel, vehicle usage costs, and depreciation. So let's just plug it in. Driver salaries, fuel, vehicle usage costs. Now depreciation is 30% straight line. So you're just going to multiply 30% by the 210,000, which is the value of the vehicles. That's going to give us about 63,000, giving us a total of 449,530 for expenses and yielding a net income of 317,380. And that's it for the income statement. Give me a couple of seconds. Let me rearrange so we'll tackle the cash book. All right, so this is part B, which is a cash book, and it reads, for the month ended 30th April 2016, Stress Ease Enterprises recorded the following cash and bank transactions. So let's scroll down so we can see. So it says balance at bank and cash. Uh, let's fill this out as we go along. I don't want to read through everything. I have to go back over it again, right? Let's save some time. So bank and cash are both assets, and they will have balances brought down on the debit side. Um, unless, of course, it says bank was overdraft, that would have been a liability and that would have been brought down on the credit side, but it didn't. And sometimes I will put the brought down in the folio column, sometimes I don't. You guys can do what you want. All right. So on the third, it says insurance payment made by check. So if we make a payment by check, it's going to come out of bank. It's gonna, we have to credit bank because bank will be decreasing. And to record a decrease in an asset, you need to credit the asset account. All right. So we have 2500 on the bank. We paid insurance on the 3rd of April. Right, next, it says client rescue fees received in cash, of which 25,000 was sent immediately to bank. Okay, so 25,690. So, what that means is that we're going to have to debit both cash and bank. Because if we're receiving money, 
the asset is going up. And to record an increase in an asset, you have to debit the asset account. So we're going to debit bank. Now it says 25,000 was sent immediately to bank. So we're going to put 25,000 under the bank column on the debit side. And we're going to put 690, the rest under cash. All right, cool. So that says client rescue fees. So you can put revenue, but I just chose to put whatever they gave us in the question, the client rescue fees. All right, so then we have petty cashier withdraws cash from cash in hand. So there was a petty cash element, kind of. So money is being taken out of cash. So cash is decreasing. So we're going to credit cash, <coughs> right? 130, the money went to petty cash. That was on the 6th of April, All right? Next, we have purchases of spare part paid by check. So again, it's a payment by check. That means we're going to credit bank because bank is decreasing and to record a decrease in an asset, you have to credit the asset account. All right, cool. So 10 for 70. Nice. Next. Oh, and it said to spare parts. <laughs> All right. So next we have engine repair. Oops, I highlighted too many things there. Right. Engine repair paid by check. So again, as a check payment, it's going to come out of bank on the credit side and it's going to say 5,000 because that's the amount we spent. And what, what did we spend it on? Engine repair. Okay. Uh, next, the owner withdrew cash from bank for house rent. So that's a private that's a, that's a withdrawal for private use. So that's drawings. So the owner took cash out of the bank. So the bank is decreasing. So we're going to go on the credit side under the bank column. And we're going to put the 8,000 there. And we're going to put that it, came, it went to drawings, right? Uh, next, client rescue fees received in cash, 31,110. So if we received cash, that means our cash went up. So we have to debit cash because cash is an asset. And to record an increase in an asset, you have to debit. So we, on, the, on the debit side on the cash, you're seeing 31,110 client rescue fees on the 10th of April. Ah, look, we have, a we have a contra entry here, right? Deposited cash in bank, 30,000. All right, so we're taking money out of cash and putting it into bank. So that means we're going to have to debit bank, right? It's going to say on the bank on the debit side, 30,000. It came from cash and the C indicates it's a contra entry, which means we have to go on the credit side under cash and we have to put a what? We have to put 30,000 because money came out of cash. Cash is an asset. If it's decreasing, what we have to do? Credit. It went to bank and on the folio you're seeing C to indicate it was a contra entry. Money came from cash, went to bank, etc., etc. Right. Um, next, we have on the 15th, Payment to creditor, J. Davis, by check after discount of 10%. Okay, this is one they used to like to bring relatively often, right? So if we made a payment, it's going to go on the credit side, on the bank, because it's a check payment, right? <clears throat> now, it said 9900 but that's after discount of 10%. So you have to work backwards to get the discount amount, all right? Now, we paid 9900 so that's the amount that's going to go under the bank column, 9900 right? Oh, uh, you know, 11, how did I get 1100? Okay, so check this very quickly. If we took 10% off of the total we had to pay, that means we only paid 90%. That 9900 represents 90%. So the easiest way to find the discount amount is to take the 10%, put it over 90%, as in literally put 10% over 90% and multiply it by the 9900. The other way to do it is to take 9900 divided by 90% or 0.9 and then I think that would give you 11,000 or something and then find 10% of that which would give you 11,000 1100 sorry all right if you have any questions on that let me know in the comment section I might do a cash book thing and a separate video on how to calculate discount right but again you could take 10% put it over 90% 90% being 9900 and then multiply that by the 9900 or you can take 9900, divide by 90%, and then multiply that by 10%. Okay. Um, client rescue fees paid for by credit card. Clients were refunded 200 in cash. Right. So if they paid us via credit card, it implies that our bank account went up because the money will be transferred to our bank account. Um, so we're going to get 19200 on the debit side. Client rescue fees again. And then if we refunded them 200 in cash, we're going to go on the credit side under cash and we're going to put 200 and we're going to put refund all right now let me scroll up a little bit so we can see the rest of the transactions here all right that's the yeah, as you can see it wasn't very many more and it was just yeah <laughs> 11 marks for the cash book uh last uh, sorry next <laughs> last cleaning materials paid in cash 370 so we are going to put that on the credit side 
under the cash column, 370, cleaning materials. Right, client rescue fee is deposited immediately in bank account, 6840. So we're going to debit bank because bank is increasing. And to record a an increase in an asset, did I say decrease? Bank is increasing. To record an increase in an asset, we have to debit. So we're going to put 6840 on the bank. It came from client rescue fees. And last but not least, we have wages paid by check. So we're going to go again on the credit side on the bank because we're paying by check, which means bank is decreasing. And to record a decrease in an asset, you have to credit the asset account. So 14,005, we paid wages. Right? So when you do your balancing off, you'll have your balances carried down from the credit side and then brought down in debit side. Okay, so that is it for this question. If you guys want to check out any more playlists, any more videos, I'm going to put a couple of cards up here. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you know every time I drop a video. Don't forget, check out my website for free payway handouts. Check the link in the description for free payway solutions. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.